Welcome to Top 5 in 5. Number 5. Big Brother Ninja issues stern warning to lovers Shags and Bella over misconduct. Shags did not participate with Fina. Also, Bella refused to participate with Cheesy. Well, it's also Cheesy because it's wrong when you decide to neglect your duties and then you do not participate with your partners. I mean, it's wrong because others feel like, are you not part of the group? And so, Big Brother said, if you guys do not want to be evicted, you'll better face your work and obey all the rules there. Number 4. Bonner Boy knocks Whiskey delusional fan. Bonner Boy, known as Damini Ogulu, on Tuesday tweeted, Whether you know it or not, all our suffering stems from our miseducation. He quoted Wale Shoinka, and what he tweeted was used against him by a Whiskey fan. He called them idiots. Well, Whiskey fan was wrong to say what Bonner Boy said was a lie. So Bonner Boy also retorted and said, If you guys have learned your history, and if your teachers have taught you your history, then you will know that what you guys call a lie is true true and he called them idiots number three Don Jazzy unveils artist Bayani to Maven Records. He say, Bayani, you are welcome. Congratulations. And Don Baba, keep up the good work. We know Don Jazzy has been going on, recruiting the good boys and the good girls. We have the likes of Aya Star, Ladipo, and now it's Bayani's time to shine. And we hope Bayani brings up light to this media industry. Number two. We have singer Lynx who drags Jumia food after finding a strand in Amala. He ordered. Imagine buying something with your money, something that you earned, and you are finding a S strand in your Amala. Personally, I won't eat that food again because I'll be disgusted. So he tweeted and dragged Jumia group and said, You guys, you distribute something that is disgusting and then you brag on the net that you are the best. It is wrong because how do you feed other customers? I mean, we buy things. And the only thing you do is give us something that is poor, a poor service. He ordered them and told them to change their activities and their attitude towards rendering of services to customers. Number one. Recovered Abacha loot eat $304.7 million and the American government has been complaining over the corruption in Nigeria. It is wrong when even after someone's death we are still recovering the money they stashed in other countries. It is really really bad. Now we are facing corruption and the federal government are not even the one who are suffering from this. It is those who are at the grassroots level. They agreed to return $23 million and the sum is that $304.7 million and I hope this money does not disappear with the federal government. I hope it is spent on something good and it is recorded for as something worth it. And I hope Abacha's death <laughs> keeps on blessing us. This way we are cashing out. That will be all on top five. Thank you. I'm Giftroda Adiola. For more stories, follow us on all social media platforms at Fortress Media One and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Fortress Media.